do you love most about your job? Inspiring other people. It's as simple as that. Like public speaking is one of the favourite parts of my job. I love standing in front of an audience and just seeing the penny drop for people. People going, ah, oh, yeah. It's like this video right now. I don't really want to say to a trainer, oh, you know, have you thought about this dietary technique or thought about that? For me, that's quite a transient bit of information. Mm. I want to sit here and make a trainer genuinely rethink the way they approach most of their problems or their work. So if we right now can inspire a trainer to maybe go away and read Jack, Jocko Willink's book, Extreme Ownership, we've created much more meaningful change in their life by shifting their mindset and that's mm. why I love mindset work because it can really have a massive impact throughout the whole of your life rather than like oh right now I need to learn a different leg exercise well that's great but I haven't really impacted you in a no. way that I want to impact you so it's, it's about inspiring and you know making people enable themselves to just do awesome things uh, the uh, one of your podcasts where you're into I can't remember the gentleman's name now but the uh, the weightlifter Sonny Webster. So, Sonny, is it? Yeah. Um, he mentioned how he's now coaching and uh, how he, uh, he he doesn't work on his own PBs anymore because he kind of doesn't want that that life that went with it at the moment. Yeah. Um, but he gets the same kind of buzz from helping others to achieve what he once achieved. Mm. Um, and I, I read, I, I don't know who's, who wrote it, but uh, said that they, um, a son of a really, really great coach is someone that can coach somebody to be better than they ever were do you agree with that do you uh yeah i think that can maybe get in the way sometimes because you know you might want to live your success through that person mm. we see that a lot in parenting where you know let's say the dad wasn't great at rugby and they want to really push the kid to be good at rugby and it's like they keep pushing and pushing too much and the kid's like whoa, whoa just like let me find my own way well, with like it. golf with sonny uh, yeah, than his dad. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Um, so I just think again, it's self awareness. Like, am I doing this with the right intention? Mm. Am I really having a positive impact? And if you are, great, carry on. But if there's starting to be a little bit of a change in energy, this person isn't taking or guidance on board as they were, then you need to reflect on that. And is mm. your approach still appropriate? It's a bit like Rocky Five, isn't it? Do you remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched that for a while. <laughs> it was the worst one. <laughs> um, still watchable though, if you haven't watched it yet. Give it a go. <laughs>